So now our code is working. Um, it does what we needed to do, which is periodically goes out to the routers, you know, watch for a particular route. If it's there, then nothing happens. It just goes on its merry way. If it uh, indeed finds out some of the routes were not there, in this case was the uh, New York City NYC Edge R2 loopback. If it's not there, then it goes ahead and sends us an SMS alert message to let us know. So to go ahead and troubleshoot. It does what it does. And um, it's working. That's always the first thing you want to achieve is you want to write some code. You know, it doesn't matter if it's messy, doesn't matter if it's not pretty, that it just works. So now it's working. Let's talk about what it means for uh, co-refactoring. So I pulled up the Wikipedia page and co-refactoring is essentially the process of restructuring existing computer code, changing the factory without changing the external behavior. So what it means is really that, you know, we want to make our code more reusable. I mean, and this is, I guess my own <laughs> general definition is that we want to make the code more reusable. We want to hide the internal messiness, if you will, from the external behavior, whether it's from our coworkers or our end users, right? So how do we do that? So if we take a look at our existing code, um, I've listed out right here is the original code, right? Like it's, it's okay. Um, but what is really messy is that um, this whole middle, if somebody else wants to uh, use our code, they actually have to go into this code itself and say, you know, what if I want to watch 192.168.0. Uh, something else 10, right? So they have to actually come in here and then they need to change this. Or, you know, what if they need to look at the BGP table instead of the show IP route table, they actually have to know the command and say show IP route. And, um, you know, what if this is a Juniper device, you know, that has a different syntax? What if it's, you know, something else, A10 device that has a different syntax. So essentially what we want to do is we want to hide the internal knowledge and make it as simple as possible. And this doesn't need to be end user, right? This, like I said, this could be your coworker who's, you know, maybe a really kick butt uh, Python coder, but he or she is not very uh, fluent in iOS commands. So let's take a look at how to do that. 